Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to look at installing and using ICC profiles with Coral Paint Shop Pro X9. Now before this video, I assume that you have already changed your printing preferences, so using the correct uh, quality and paper settings, and you've disabled the automatic printer profile in the printer driver. And now let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install our printer profile, which we have on the desktop here. This will either be included on a CD with your printer, or it might have been sent to you by email. Now, today we're using the Rico SG3110DN with City Ink Express paper. And so to start with, we'll right click on the profile and select install profile. Now there's no egg timer that pops up or loading screen for that, it is instant. So as soon as you've clicked on install profile, we're ready to move on. Now the instructions for Coral Paint Shop Pro X9 are not the simplest in the world. If you've seen any of our videos on how to do this with Photoshop, then you'll see that the Photoshop ones are all very similar and very quick to do. That is not the case with Paint Shop Pro. So I would really suggest following the PDF instructions for this step by step, because it's not the most intuitive process in the world. So to start with, in order to use ICC profiles in Coral Paint Shop Pro X9, our printer that we're using needs to be the default printer. So we'll go into our printers here, and it's this Rico printer we're using today. So we need to set that as the default. That's the first step. And you can't change that now. You do have to have this as the default printer. That should have, up. yep, there it is. Computer's just been a little bit slow. Now we need to right click on the printer again and go into properties. As soon as this loads, here we go. Now we have this color management tab at the top, which we don't go near for the majority of ICC profile uses, but PaintShop Pro X9 likes to be different. So let's go ahead and check that out. And click on color management there. Now, when this first pops up, you'll find that this is your display up here. We don't want that. We want to select our printer, which again is the example Rico printer today. Yours, if you're using a Rico SG3110DN, would be called Rico SG3110DN RPCS-R, but whichever printer you're using, select it from the drop-down menu there, and tick Use My Settings for this device. Next, we want to change the profile selection from Automatic to Manual. And then we need to add our new profile to this by clicking the Add button. When this pops up, we'll select the profile that we've just installed, Rico SG3110DN, with the City Ink Express paper, and click OK. And now we can close this. And click OK in our printer properties. Now that's all we need to do in there, so we can close out of that box and go into Paint Shop Pro. Now if we go File, and where's Print? We can't select Print just yet, we'll need to open something to print. Doesn't matter what it is. And then we go File, Print. And then we need to click close. The reason for this is that the default printer is only updated after you've closed the print dialog, which doesn't make an awful lot of sense. But that's how it works in PaintShop Pro X9, so that's what we have to do. Now, we don't go to File Print. We go File, Color Management, Color Management. And we select basic color management from this. We don't need the uh, proofing options right now. And under printer profile, we have that one selected correctly. 
Now the rendering intent, normally in most programs, you'll have an option of uh, perceptual rendering, absolute colorimetric, relative colorimetric, and saturation rendering. But uh, Coral have gone for a slightly different standard here. I won't explain how they all map across. They do map across exactly, but we will be picking the proof rendering. And now we click OK. So that is everything done. So next time we come to print from PaintShop Pro X9, it will automatically apply that correct printer profile. Unfortunately, it does mean that we cannot change the default printer ever. Otherwise, it'll get rid of all of those settings. So if you, if you do only use your photo printer for occasional printing and you want your default to be something else, I would really recommend getting a different program for this because it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. But if you are using PaintShop Pro X9, then that is how you apply your ICC printer profile. Thank you very much.